Hey guys, welcome back to the channel! Today we have a review for our mechanical keyboard. This is the Me2 Z56. You can get this from Amazon or AliExpress for around $30 with mechanical switches in either black, blue, red or brown. I got the Poo Browns. There's not much in the box other than a keyboard in a plastic bag. Last time her name was Beverly. Blow, 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 blow. This has the specs and how to use the lighting feature. Blow, blow, blow. On the back, it is pretty much the same deal. So what we have is a bare bones, wired USB keyboard with mechanical switches and some lights. With 89 keys, it's slightly shorter than full size. Not as big as my full size. The numpad at the top right, at the rear we have the clips so we can raise it a little at the back and it sounds a bit like this. They're not the genuine Cherry MX Browns, but they feel pretty good. The space bar does need firming up a little, but it's okay. Here's my Philco Magis something and we can hear the difference use the Philco a lot more, and it's probably lubed to high buggery. It's also much more expensive. If we check the keycaps, it's obvious that the ones from the Me2 are made of a much lighter and thinner plastic. Once we connect the keyboard to our computer, it looks stunning. It's not true RGB, but I've hit puberty and simply I don't care. Function key F9 will cycle through the 21 cool light modes. Some modes are reactive to your key presses. We can speed up the light cycles by pressing function and the right arrow key, or slow them down by using function and left arrow. Using function and the up or down arrow keys, we can adjust brightness. There are light modes for RTS, FPS, and for typing. I'm sure most don't really need this, but it's a nice addition. You can also customize which keys are lit up. So we can make one for arcade games, and MAME, and we have three slots to save our custom layouts to. After using this keyboard for a couple of weeks, we can say without a doubt that this is easily worth $30. One annoying thing about this is if you want to press delete, you need to hold function and then this button here. This design with the numpad is obviously tailored for Civilization fans, but if you need the separate delete key, there is another Me Cool keyboard which has that. So, the keyboard at 30 bucks, already decent. Let's mod it. One essential upgrade is to buy some O-rings. Got a bag of these tricks for a dollar. It even comes with a key puller. The idea of these miniature donuts is to soften the hit of each key press. We should firm it up too. We simply pull a key out, like so, and then put the ring on, like a donut on your finger. Pop it back in and hey presto. You can do this with all of the keys if you wish, but it's up to you. If you like the clicky noisiness, you can leave it as it is. We can even go one step further. I'm gonna add some colors. Each one of these sets are $10 from AliExpress and are fully compatible with our keyboard. Just pull one out and then do the switcheroo. The reason why I got the blue and green key sets is because I want to change this into a dream keyboard. With the world of emulation as it currently is, older computers such as the Amstrad, Amiga, C64 can all easily be run by Emulec on a cheap Android box. By just changing a few of the keycaps, we can alter the look and complete feel of the system. This would change an already decent keyboard into something priceless. Perfection.
The O-rings have made the keyboard a little bit quieter and much firmer. Do we recommend this keyboard? Hell yeah. Especially if you customize it to your liking. I've chosen the Amstrad, but what would have been your choice? Throw down a comment, I dare you. Game time. We're gonna use the HK1 box with MULEC. Wow, look at this. First game I'm gonna try with the keyboard is Kung Fu Master. My first computer, the Amstrad, came with a suitcase full of games. This was one of them. On the arcade, it's quite difficult to jump and move. The Nintendo version is much better. I can only get as far as level three. Next up, Ye are Kung Fu. Ye are certainly not. Yeah, I still suck. You sure do. Dizzy! You could say this is one of the first adventure games I ever played. Take an item, use it on a thing, and pretty much near anything will kill you. Even an apple. Football. Match day two! When we were really young, we used to play this game with our favorite teams, Pee and Poo. And coming back to it now, it is really slow. <laughs> really slow. Next one's a true classic. Who you gonna call? Holy crap. So a quick thank you for all of those on our Patreon. You guys are the best and seriously it helps a lot. We fix Pandora boxes, create emulation guides, and also review things. None of this would be possible without your help and support. Thank you. So it's time for a sing-along. If you're over 30, you should know the words. If you don't, check the bottom of the screen. Karaoke time. Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the flips.